beautiful day here in Zanzibar. It's our final day here before we head back to Nairobi. Um, so we've decided to do one of the popular spice tours um, here just outside of um, Stone Town. So we just got here. We're waiting for our tour guide. Um, apparently there's lots of cool spices, uh, including cinnamon, a lipstick pad, which I'm very excited to see. So, uh, I'll take you along for the journey and, uh, we'll see what we find. <laughs> is it vanilla? This is a vanilla. <laughs> well done. <laughs> this is the vanilla flowers and this one is the vanilla beans. As you see, it's not a tree, vanilla. It's a vine. The plant grows on the tree, and the vanilla is the second most expensive spices in the world, after saffron. You know saffron. Mm -hmm. It's the number one, much expensive. Vanilla is the second one. I told you, uh, most of spices we harvest it twice a year, except the vanilla and the nutmeg, just one. Once a year harvest. Wow. I mean it from flower up to be bigger like this, mm -hmm. around the eight or nine months. And then it changed color, turned to yellow. So we pick them yellow and then we try it. It's uh, very expensive because uh, not many country grow vanilla. And even after planting, you need waiting for a long time. <laughs> They crop the city, they cut the mm -hmm. and they, they use the lipstick. But when you've been in India over there, you can find the people put the dot in. Oh, mm -hmm. Masai for hair dye to change color hair. As well. Cool. But uh, so this is a henna tree. Henna come from the tree, but from the leaves, and not from the seed. Henna tree is giving the seed, but the seed we don't use for anything. Because even for planting henna, we don't take the seed. You take the whole thing. We grate it to get the powder. When you prepare mashed potato, we put nutmeg in mashed potato, sweet potato, spinach cakes, but little, it's very little. More than seven of this one, it's a drug. It's like alcohol, oh. this one. So if the way we use, we just, we take a little. You know, in the, uh, in the local wedding celebration, maybe she's want to give her husband to enjoy. She's going to drink a nutmeg because the number of nutmeg people say this is like aphrodisia for women. But maybe three of them. Otherwise you are going to sleep. It's like alcohol. Even the singers, musicians, but women singers, sometimes they're very shy. So before to go on the stage, they're going to drink this one. Nutmeg. Kungu. Kungu manga. That's why he Kungu manga. What is this? I don't know. Pilipili. <laughs> you know Pilipili? What about chili? Oh, yes. Chili, you know. Mm -hmm. So chili in Swahili, we say Pilipili. Pili. But this one is not chili. But also we say Pilipili, Pili, this one. This is a peppercorn. Peppercorn. Pepper vine. It's not a tree. It's them like a vanilla. It's a vine. If you look carefully, you can see greenish one and reddish one on the tree because there are four, four types of pepper. Green pepper, red pepper, white and the black, but all coming from the same. Four types of pepper come from the same vine. First, as you see greeny, and later this green change color turn to red. So I mean a greenish peppercorn and a reddish peppercorn. These are two berries coming from the plant. Greenish is unripe and the reddish is a ripe one. But if you want to get a black pepper, we take a green after dry, goes black, you get a black pepper. Green is change color turn to red. We pick them ready before to dry. We suck in the water. Two, three days, we wash it to take off the skin, white inside it. So we get a black pepper from the green after dry, white pepper from the red after wash. Green is not ripe, red it's white one. But all of them, black pepper, it's more, more strong than others. For medicine and for cooking. Pepper is good for cough with the mint, you know mint, mm -hmm. just the flowers. We take a minted flower, we dry them, we take a pepper powder, mix together with the minted flour, we do like a pepper mint. And then we make a tea, drink it for coffee and for stomach. But uh, we do a peppermint essence oil. Mm -hmm. Headache. 
peppermint essence oil. Do you see on the tree still baby, still young? In Zanzibar, like if it's bigger, it's getting. But when you be in Uganda over there, it's huge. More than 20, 25 kilo. Oh my God. Pounds. But this always hang up on the trees. Does not fall down themselves. You need to climb in the tree to take them. It's a jack, jack fruit. Oh. J A C K, jack mm -hmm. fruit. It's not jack Danny. <laughs> it's a jack fruit. <laughs> and it stays green always. Does not change color. Stays green, doesn't fall. It's very difficult on the tree to know which one is ripe because the color is the same and doesn't fall. But when you come down here, if you get smell from the tree, you will know one in front is all right, but still you don't know which one. Mm. So we climbing the tree, we know by knock it one by one, or we smell it. <laughs> it's hollow when it's ripe. It's like watermelon. And now still we white inside it because it's not ripe. When it's ripe, yellow inside. We cut it, there's so many small seeds, but we don't eat the seed. Yellow fresh around the seed, the one we eat. Between banana, ananas, mango, papaya, tasty like say jackfruit. When you mm -hmm. smell it carefully, little bit like a menthol mm -hmm. or like a eucalyptus, yes, mm. like a comfort, or like a Vicks, like yeah. a Vicks mm -hmm. So we make oily from the roots, it's like a tiger bomb oil, wow. and then yeah. we rub it for headache, flow, cold, back problem. So this is the root? Cinnamon roots. Okay. Or we boil it, we take, we cut into pieces of cinnamon root, and then we boil it in water. Inhale with inhalation yeah. for steaming, the sun has to open the nose like this one. So this is a cinnamon tree. Mm -hmm. It's very young, also it's grow bigger. 10 or 15 meter high this one. Wow. Mm -hmm. But even the leaves we use, we take a fresh leaves and then we wash them carefully. We put in a tea, coffee, milk tea. But you see the flowers. And then it's going to be the seed, the seed for planting. This one for cosmetic, the flower. We take the bark, dry, and then it roll itself. You get a stick. We say cinnamon stick. It rolls itself? On the side, itself. Okay. So cinnamon stick from the bark. Okay. Just like this we take off, not like this. You are going to mm -hmm. kill the tree when you take it like this. But like this, for three months, the bark is closed back again. But we take a cinnamon root for medicine, not for cooking. Smell is not the same. We use the underground root. Do you see the root, this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this? Ginger. Ginger. So this is the ginger plant. It's always its underground root. But ginger is very spicy. It looks like a turmeric. Mm -hmm. The turmeric yellow one, and it's not strong. This one is very strong, spices. Uh, I'm sure you know ginger beer. Mm. Well, we always say ginger soda. It's a ginger beer, but it's not alcohol. It's like a soda. We do ginger tea, ginger coffee, biscuits. In Japanese, they're making sushi with the pickled ginger. Well, we cut the slice and then we put in honey with the lemon. We eat it like this one. It's good for for those roots. This one. Uh, sugar cane, you know, sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Squeeze sugar cane in order to get a juice. But together with a ginger and a <laughs> yes. yes. This is a cacao tree, and this one is a cacao fruit. In Danziba, we have but not many. It does not grow well here. This one in Africa grows well in West, West Africa, Ghana, every coast over there. They export the fruit. Belgium or Switzerland. In Belgium or Switzerland, they use this one for making the chocolate. In Zanzibar, because we have not many, not for chocolate, not for export, just we eat as the fruit. But we don't eat the seeds. The seeds is very bitter taste. We eat the white, fresh, and the seed. Lychee, you know. Have you tasted it? Yes. The way we eat the lychee is the same. Mm -hmm. Don't chew so the seed. So it's sweet though. It's sweet. Yeah. But you don't chew the seed. The yeah. seed is bitter. So you suckle and then you spit the seed out. The seed the one for making chocolate. But after dry, 
same like a coffee, roast it and then make it powder. Yeah. For making chocolate and for drinks. So, cacao. Oh. This is the cardamom. That's a sea cardamom plant. And do you see the seed over there, Dam? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you see the seed? Where it's coming from? From the root. The root, the one is giving the seed. This is the cardamom root. But before the root is giving the flowers and then the cardamom seeds. Like if it's bigger, change color yellow. We pick them yellow and then it dries. So it's dark and the brown shape. Cardamom you can use for any cooking, whatever you want. For baking, for cooking, for flavoring. We put in ice cream, cakes, juice, coffee, milk, tea, pilau, pilau rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, peanuts, bread, biscuits, sometimes for mouth air fresher. Okay. Uh, and when you eat something, my bad, or mm -hmm. cigarette smoking, marijuana, alcohol, dorian, you <laughs> take this one and then you too. Oh. Cardamom. You lift it. You mm -hmm. must sing Jumbo. Oh, okay. It's oh. a lesson to sing. It's okay. A, it's like a signal. Because sometimes people walk around and near the coconut tree. So oh. when you sing, they know someone on the tree. Otherwise, your coconuts fall on your head. <laughs> so picture, videos, Apuna Matata. Oops, sorry, let me just go this way. Hi, Hakuna Matata! Woo! Hiya!